Good morning world. Yes, it's Monday morning. Sparrows France. It's half past eight. I've been up since half past seven last night trying to put the worlds to rights and looking at the news this morning and reading the news this morning it, it does seem like the Paris uh, police were a little bit uh, heavy handed weren't they and uh, everyone's trying to justify uh, the fact that the Liverpool fans did nothing wrong and by the look of it they did nothing wrong apart from turn up to support their team I thought they should have won actually but uh, I think the Real Madrid goalkeeper saved them as you can tell my team Charlton will be going into Europe next year because apparently they've written a brilliant song anyway I want to speak uh, about the Queen's Jubilee and uh, and how blocked up all the roads are going to be a good enough reason to start home and have a street party and I also want to speak about someone I once met, an old chap called Lester Pickett, who has suddenly moved on, along with Alan White, the drummer of the brilliant band Yes, he's gone as well. They, they all seem to be going. Van Jealous the other week, Rick Price, my old tour manager of 20 years, who played bass with Roy Wood. Good heavens, they're all going, <clears throat> I'm not feeling that clever myself. But there's a story about Lester Pickett that he was, a, they say in the papers he was a bit of a miser, but he didn't seem to understand Cockney rhyming slang because one, and he, he had a slight, he smoked down his nose, Lester Pickett, didn't he? He smoked down his nose like that. Um, uh, I think it was uh, my, one of my mother-in-laws spoke down her nose. She wore her mouth out. It's a bit early for jokes, but there you go. So here's a little story about Lester Piggott to leave you with. Uh, and I hope you all enjoyed Bobby Davro and uh, Alex Belfield on Ustream uh, last night. We're going to make a little announcement in a couple of days' time to for all the veterans and all you armed forces personnel serving to coincide with the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War and the launch of our new series, Pull Up a Sandbag, with uh, Denzel Connick, a veteran himself, interviewing other great veterans. It's all about the Falklands War, this new series. And the first interviewee is no other than, at the time, Brigadier Julian Thompson, commander of Three Brigade. It is a fascinating series. And we want you to see it. And we want you veterans and that serving personnel to be able to afford uh, to see it. We know times are hard at the moment. Anyway, let's get back to Lester talking of money, which he loved. Uh, uh, someone walked up to him in the paddock and said, Nice horse, Lester. Yeah, nice horse, yeah. How do you think it'll do? Well, yeah, I think it's got a good chance. A good chance. I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll put a pony on it. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, as I said, it'd be a good chance. Well, if, if it's a really good chance, I, uh, I'll put a monkey on it. You're going to put a pony and a monkey on my horse? Yeah. Well, where am I going to fucking hit then? <laughs> I know. Rest in peace, Lester. You were absolutely brilliant. You and Frankel, best double act since Cannon and Ball. Okay, folks, don't forget, still take advantage of signing up for Ustream. If you sign up for one year at the moment, and there's only a little bit of time left to do it, you'll get 47 quids worth of DVDs and downloads of all our stars, including me. Or you can sign up for a monthly subscription and get seven days free. I'm sorry to go on about it, but the more viewers we get, the more subscribers, the more money we get, the more money we can spend in keeping all you people happy. All right, folks, see you later.